OK, we know that the change in anything, uh, for example change in velocity, um, is always equivalent to the final take the initial. And when we look at the final take the initial, that's the same as saying the final plus the opposite of the initial. So in this particular instance, um, the uh, initial velocity is going to be the 5 metres per second into the wall and the final velocity will be the uh, 4 metres per second away from the wall. So we can write the equation as V is 4 metres per second um, in that direction away. Now when we go take the initial, it's the initial is 5 metres per second in the direction to the wall like that. But when we change it to um, an addition statement, it's... Oh no, what happened there? It's 4 metres per second in the direction, that's your final velocity. But when you add the opposite of the initial, the opposite of the initial is still going to be 5 metres per second, but being opposite is going to be in the opposite direction. So now when we come to add them together and do the um, diagram to represent the addition, and draw those two vectors head to tail, we can then determine that the uh, resultant, or in other words the change in velocity, which is the resultant, will be uh, represented by that red vector. So the change in velocity is going to be somewhere up in this direction here sort of thing.